Many homeowners ask us what temperature to keep their thermostat at. Really, first and foremost, it's about your comfort. I recommend setting the thermostat at the highest or lowest possible setting where you're still comfortable. The important thing to take in consideration when setting your thermostat is every degree lower or higher saves you about 10% on your energy bills depending on whether it's heating or cooling season. So my recommendation, you know, 75 to 80 degrees in the summertime is probably the average that homeowners do. I like my home at 69 degrees. I like it a little colder. Uh, and same in the wintertime. I run it a lot colder than many, many homeowners because I like a cooler home. But the important thing to remember is it's about one degree equals 10% energy savings. So set it where you're comfortable, keeping that into consideration so you can find the optimal temperature for your home. Many, many, many homes have what's called hot and cold spots and, and homeowners ask us if there's ways to solve those challenges, whether it's 10 degrees warmer in the upstairs in the summertime or whether you got a cold basement. The way a system is designed is each room based upon the number of windows it has and how big the room is, is supposed to get a certain amount of heat or cooling. And then how we get that there is determined by the size of the ductwork that goes to it. There is an absolute way to design a system properly so that the exact amount of BTUs of heat and the exact amount of BTUs of cooling are delivered to each room. So if you have hot or cold spots, simple duct modifications can sometimes make all the difference in the world of balancing that home out. Another real cheap technique a quick trick, so to speak, would be to go through the home in, in rooms that are warmer. Let's say in the wintertime, you've got a room that's warmer, dampering those registers down just a little bit and making sure that your registers are open in the cooler rooms. And it's called balancing the home, so walking through the home. The thing to take into consideration when doing so, if you start closing off too many registers, you're actually cutting down on the CFM of the system and it's not able to breathe properly, so you can you can actually create a scenario where the system starts to malfunction, it loses its efficiency, and it actually breaks down. So there's a lot of techniques for balancing a home, starting out with a good duct system and making sure the proper amount of air is delivered to each room is the best way to go.